We're going to show you today how to make MKV videos playable on the PlayStation 3. Here you can see this is the MKV to VOB website, which is a free program that you can use to convert your VOBs into something that the PlayStation 3 can read. Under the new releases and downloads, click it, and whatever the newest one is is going to be at the top. Clicking on that is going to show you the current link. Here it is. Click it. Save it someplace to your computer. We're going to save it in this case to the desktop so we can find it. Once you've saved it to your desktop, all you have to do is install it. Okay, there we are done. We're doing this from Google Chrome in case you don't recognize it. I'm going to open. Okay, now that we've got the MKV to VOB open, there's a few things you need to do in the configuration tab up here at the top. First, if you don't know where to, to do a temp directory, don't worry about it. The output type, it's best to choose file. Um, they have options for AV, CHD, disks, and USB, but it works best to do file. Preferred subtitle language is usable. If there are subtitles in the MKV, it'll automatically pick the English one. The transcode settings, usually you can set whatever you want to on here. The uh, X264, it gives you the best quality. Most of the videos you're going to find in MKVs are already X264. But if they're not, some of them may not be playable. So uh, setting it to X264 uh, will produce the, um, the best quality uh, video. Normally just regular is good. You don't have to choose high bitrate. On the right side over here, you've got always encode. If you need the subtitles for whatever reason in there, you can tell it you want to encode. If it doesn't have subtitles but you need them because it's a foreign film, you can tell it load them from a file and it'll use the SRT or the ASS file formats, which you can then click this, find the file, and add it automatically. You can tell it the subtitles you want to be large because the, the default font size is very small. Now if your receiver or whatever kind of television you have does not support DTS, you need to tell it to always transcode DTS. And that will convert it to AC3 audio. If for whatever reason you can't play AC3 on your television or receiver, you need to tell it to use PCM instead of AC3. Uh, automatic update makes it automatically put the newest version of MKV to VOB on your computer if there is one. Next, under video transcoding, you need to set this to automatic, not always and not never. If it's not of a compatible video and you choose never, then you won't be able to play it when you're done. If it is compatible and you tell it always, then it'll take a long time transcoding when it's not necessary, so automatic is best. A file splitting you can use if you need to fit it. If you're using a FAT32 file system, you have to choose 4 gigabytes or else it'll fail to transcode. The DVD5 sets it to automatically fit a DVD. Uh, if it's bigger than one DVD, it'll split it so you can put them on two. DVD9 will split it for a double sided. Uh, 25 gig will do, of course, a, uh, a Blu ray disc, and then you can choose other standard sizes. Output file extension, you have the option of choosing automatic. Uh, I choose MPEG because it's always playable on the PlayStation 3 and the program that I use to play them on the PlayStation 3 allows for a icon from the movie, like a screenshot to show. Alright, well to actually do a video all you have to do is browse to a source file. In this case we're going to choose the movie 2012. All I have to do is click it, tell it open, and this is the destination I'm going to put it into. It's going to go into HD Ready, my Blu-ray file. You can tell it to delete the source after conversion if you want to. When you're finished, just click Add, and as soon as you do, I already, I've already done it, so I'm going to change the name real quick. Click Add File, 
and it will start to convert it. As you can see, transcode is set to automatic, and it says no because the video is playable already on the PlayStation 3. The audio is DTS, so it's going to convert the audio from DTS to AC3. Once it's finished, it'll say um, transcoding finished, and this is a two and a half hour movie, and it will take about five minutes to finish. Once it is finished, you can play it back on your PlayStation 3. In another video, I will show you the best software you can use to actually play this back on your PlayStation.